This is the tomb where Lazarus arose from the grave. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I said this on account of the people standing around that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said these things, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out! Uh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Are you okay? Lazarus? Yes! I said the exact words that Jesus said when he called Lazarus out of the tomb. And then, and then there you were, walking toward me, groaning and, and covered and wrapped in cloths just like he was. It all adds up. Uh, I just wanted you to take my picture in front of the tomb. Uh, by the way, just because you said the exact words that Jesus said doesn't mean that I'm Lazarus just because I'm standing here. Well, you're wrapped in cloths just like he is. That is a coincidence. I'll give you that. But I'm wrapped in cloths because I have a really bad sunburn. I, I went to this water park out in California called Raging Waters, long story, but I didn't put sunscreen on and I got burned. Oh, rookie mistake. Uh, I know. But either way, only God can command people to come back from the dead. Jesus was both man and God, so he had the power to do that for Lazarus. The raising of Lazarus is a picture of the gospel. Death looks to claim people, but the plan of God through Jesus conquers death and brings salvation from its grasp. So when Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, he was showing that he had power over life and death? Yeah. Wow, that is so cool that Jesus could do all that. <laughs> but I must say, you still look like Lazarus to me. <laughs> you know what, I, I kind of do, don't I? <laughs> hey, can I take a selfie with you? I want to show my mom and dad back home that I met Lazarus or uh, someone who looks like him. Yeah, sure. Ready? Say mommy. Mommy! <laughs> <laughs> Send that to me. Uh, of course. And that's a wrap. Literally. <laughs>